If you want to buy wooden furniture in Bali, either to export or to equip a Bali villa rental, it helps to know a few things beforehand so you can avoid some of the pitfalls. It is a very good idea to find an expert who can help you to connect with local suppliers, particularly if this is for a business exporting furniture or furnishing Bali villas for rent. Ideally, you can find someone who knows furniture and knows the local market, but be careful as many Indonesian companies pay a bounty to any local bringing buyers to their outlet. Pick the right wood for the right situation. There are many choices available and a small amount of online research can tell you a lot about their advantages and disadvantages. For example, mahogany is only good inside and cannot be used in any situation open to the elements. Teak is ideal for any conditions, though it is quite expensive. Munkerai can be great in the right weather and size of wood, but can warp, twist and crack when it is cut small. Depending on your budget and the quality you desire, avoid buying furniture with knots. Having low knots is best, but small ones, 1-3mm are probably not an issue. The large knots, 1cm and higher, are bad as they will invariably shrink and drop out leaving a round hole. And while that might be charming in a rustic piece in a Bali villa friend, it is not so popular when in a modern style piece. Design is also crucial. Good design takes into account any likely shrinking in the wood, allowing for it either by allowing the planks to move using floating panels or washers, or by trying to ensure all the planks move in the same direction. Lastly, when it comes to exporting, make sure you use a reputable exporter and ensure that the furniture is packed to prevent it rubbing or knocking against other pieces and that a lot of silica gel is placed in the container to keep it as dry as possible. You could also specify that the container not be on the deck of the boat so as to avoid direct sunlight.